Everywhere you go today, people are worried about the economy. Here are four views of the money squeeze in Minnesota. We have something new in this country and in Minnesota. A little idea that the Republicans call tight money. Tight money. A Republican idea that was supposed to stop inflation and did some things it wasn't supposed to do. Maybe you know about some of them. If you've lost your job and can't find another one, you know about tight money. If you're a young couple and can't afford to buy a house, you know about tight money. If you're a student who can't get a loan to go to college, you know about tight money. And if you're a farmer who needs money to buy equipment and the banks say no, you know all about tight money. What can you do about the Republicans and their tight money policy? Vote for Hubert Humphrey. Humphrey, you know he cares. Tight money has created another problem. Many Minnesota families aren't able to buy their own homes. This is the house Bob and Sally couldn't buy. That you, honey? Because Republican economic policy has raised the interest rates. What's for dinner, Sal? And made it impossible for Bob and Sally to get a mortgage to buy their house. Mm -hmm. Go wash up. Hubert Humphrey says the interest rate must be reduced. and mortgage money made available to people like Bob and Sally. How's my best girl today? So that maybe next year we can say, this is the house Bob and Sally bought. Can I have more potatoes? Please. Please. With a little help from Hubert Humphrey. Vote for him. Humphrey, you know he cares. As if tight money, high interest rates, and high prices are not enough, still another danger stalks Minnesota. Why is unemployment so high? Millions unemployed. Just a statistic, until it's you. And there are far too many of you right here in Minnesota. In a country that sends men to the moon, the Republican administration can't put a man to work all because the Republicans have a theory that to fight inflation, we can tolerate an acceptable level of unemployment. It's a theory that doesn't work because you don't work. To a man with a wife and children and a heavy heart, there is no acceptable level of unemployment. Hubert Humphrey says, every man who can work must work. Vote for Hubert Humphrey. You know he cares. A cruel inflation has bitten deep into everyone's savings in Minnesota, especially those living on fixed incomes. Mr. Humphrey, how can they expect us older people to live on a fixed income when inflation comes up and just eats our money away as fast as we get it. I don't believe there's any more serious problem economically for a large number of our people than the one that you brought up. We have millions of people today drawing Social Security benefits. And obviously, we've got to increase the basic uh, uh, payment. I've worked for a long time to increase that payment no matter how limited a period of time you serve. Now, what I'm suggesting, particularly on the Social Security program, is first of all that we have what we term an escalator clause that as that cost of living goes up in other words as the prices rise and inflation takes its toll that you raise the benefits of social security now this is built into many union contracts already with business and labor there's no reason at all that the government of the united states shouldn't have that and it should have had it a long time ago return hubert h humphrey to the united states senate humphrey the man for tomorrow you know he cares